Menopause technically is one day on the calendar that marks 12 months of no periods. One day? Yeah. All the time before that is perimenopause, and all the time after that is postmenopause. What age roughly does perimenopause start? From 32 to 35. See, that blows my mind. Stacey Sims is an exercise physiologist and nutrition scientist whose research on female physiology has revolutionized how women train, fuel, and perform, empowering them to optimize health and fitness. I was classified as a geriatric mom because I had my daughter when I was 38. But then afterwards, I had really bad postpartum depression. But was it postpartum depression on its own, or was it perimenopause? I was coming in. Are there specific times within a women's cycle that we should be adapting our training to? There's a lot to unpack there because of the science that's come out over the past maybe five years. Creatine. Best thing out there. I knew you'd say that. Over the course of three to four weeks of consistently using three to five grams every day, you get that full saturation. Muscle works better, brain works better, guts better, because anything that has a fast energetic requires creatine. We have this conversation that women are delicate petals when they're on their period. I really want want you to understand how you feel across your menstrual cycle and not listen to the rhetoric that we've been fed for so many years. I was really aware when you sat down, you said, you know, how many comments am I going to get on how I look this time? How does it make you feel when you read crappy comments online about how you look? If I was a guy and I was going against the grain, I wouldn't get those comments.